Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with more Atlanta Falcons news update. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and tell your friend to come to that Falcons football with your boy. Also, join the man, my membership, 199 599 All right, so let's get straight to it, man. This is some news that I'm kind of pissed. I, I, I'm, I'm angry, extremely angry about this. And it's talking about, for you, Olukun, I was going to start with um, the less, the least exciting news but I, I just gotta get to this straight straight off real man your boy foyer olakun was not even on the pro bowl ballot do you hear me he wasn't even on the freaking ballot dude like how can you do this this dude is arguably the best linebacker that we have on the team arguably having one of the better seasons from linebackers 64 tackles one interception three Force fumbles, a sack. Like, this dude is getting after the corner. He's doing everything that you want from a linebacker. Whether you're an outside linebacker or inside linebacker, it doesn't matter. He's doing it all. And he's not even on the ballot. And the question is, why? I understand. I understand that the Falcons got off to a rough start. I completely understand that. But to not even have the guy on the ballot after a, the year that he's having, the turnaround that Raheem Morris has helped with the Atlanta Falcons is absolutely unbelievable. Disrespectful. But this is something that we are accustomed to. Falcons fans, we are accustomed to this. This is what they do to us. This is the reason why Man Mike Sports, Atlanta Falcons Nation. This is why we need you guys' support. Because we need to get, okay? We need, we must gain the respects for not only the national media, but the respect for the players who've done it before. Jamal Anderson. Chuck Smith, Chris Dre, all these guys have done it. They've been very good players. And they don't get the respect that they need. It's absolutely disgusting to not have for you, Olakun, not even on the damn ballot. So go to Twitter. Go to Facebook. Go and vote, all right, for for you, Olakun. To at least be on the freaking ballot. Just absolutely disrespect. All right, but let's get straight to some other news, man. Miss Maggie T. Go check out her latest injury report, man. Um, don't want to kind of ruin that, but you guys might want to go over there after you know you finish with this video. Um, the link will be in the description so you can check that out, man. Um, but this is this is amazing. I have it in either the description or uh, the pinned comment. All right, so man, I, I it's it's absolutely ridiculous, to be honest, man. And um, to go into another absolutely absurd situation for not only Atlanta Falcons, man, but the Saints. Um, the Saints Drew Brees. Um, I know a lot of Falcons fans were like, Mike, man, look, I don't give a freaking care about Drew Brees. But let, let me say this, man. I'm not one of these people that rejoices over anyone's injury. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is... A injury and I know what you know a lot of people can't get over certain things all right uh what about when he was a a, a a supporter of you know who you know what I'm saying what about that you just gonna forgive him Mike look man this has nothing to do with that situation you know what I'm saying I don't care about solely being rivals all right this is this is a game bro this is a game and when a guy not only with you know broken ribs a punctured lung and a shoulder injury, man, like it's it's coming. It's it's to the point where Falcons fans are actually celebrating the fact that he is hurt. And like I said, I know you guys are probably sitting back to yourself, like, man, they did this, uh, they did this, they they said this about this person, they did this. Look, man, stop acting like two year olds. All right, stop acting like teenagers. He did this to me. No, I didn't do it. Eep, 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 eep. Look, man. It's not cool to celebrate people's injuries. I remember the Philadelphia uh, Eagles watching Michael Irvin go down with a neck injury. The fans absolutely cheered. 
a chair, a guy laying on the ground motionless. That shit cannot happen. That kind of stuff cannot happen, Falcons fans. And this is the reason why I have the platform. We are continuously growing as a platform because we want to do the right things. To be a positive place for not only Atlanta Falcons content, but have friendly rivalry where we can talk smack without all of this type of stuff. People cheering Drew Brees going down with a punch of lung. And, and let, let me tell you something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm I'm just going to be honest. And I'm, it's nothing cool about that. I know a lot of people have had broken ribs. Look, man, I had a broken toe and I thought I was going to die. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? A broken toe, a broken pinky toe. You know what I'm saying? And I thought I was gone. All right, so this this is no laughing matter, man, and just Falcons fans. And like I said, man, I'm gonna expand on this um, this conversation a later, uh, a little bit later tonight, um, eight o'clock at the Heavy Hitters, man. Do not forget to uh, tune in to us, and yeah, man, we're gonna um, we need you guys your opinions, we need your guy, you guys all your questions, man. We we want to be able to give you guys uh, and entertain you guys. Um, but when it all comes down to this Drew Brees injury, man, um, I don't know if, you know, who will be the starter. Um, I will update you guys as the week go on as far as who will be the starter for the um, the New, Eng- uh, New England, but New Orleans, uh, the New Orleans Saints. Uh, the Saints will have Jameis Winston. I know Jameis Winston is... Um, he's had some pretty good games against the Atlanta Falcons. Um, and this is something that I've kind of went over with a, a couple of friends. I know a lot of people is like, yeah, he had this and he did this. But, man, I'm just going to be honest, man. He just doesn't have. I don't see Michael Thomas as better than a Mike Evans, man. I'm just, that's just me. I, I don't see Michael Thomas better than Mike Evans. I think Mike Evans is a real deal, man. Um, he has the ability to go deep, and I just don't think that's a part of Mike Evans, uh, Michael Thomas, his game, as well as I, Emmanuel Sanders. Like he doesn't necessarily scare me. I mean, he's a veteran, he's a pretty good receiver, but he doesn't scare me. Um, you have Alvin Kamara, but the Falcons have Deion Jones and Four Year Olakun. Like these guys can cover these guys in the spot. And 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 I know you guys went back a couple of games where Deion Jones actually put. Uh, Alva Kamara out of the game with a big hit. So I'm not afraid of this offense for um as far as their weapons. I don't think the Saints weapons are as good as the uh, as the as the Bucks weapons. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Um but I don't think their weapons are as big or as good as the Bucks, man. And quite frankly, whether it's Taysom Hill, I know Taysom Hill, what you're going to get from Taysom Hill, Taysom Hill is just going to be a spark. He has a big-time arm. He can throw the ball deep, and they're going to take their shots with these two guys. But at the same time, man, I think the Falcons, this is not the exact same team that we're accustomed to seeing for the most part of the year. Raheem Morris has done a wonderful job of turning um, this defense around as well as um, Jeff Obert, these guys have done a wonderful job of turning the defense around. This is not the exact same cover three, you know, give up, you know, a lot of yards. Um, if we've been seeing with uh, under Dan Quinn, this team is playing extremely, uh, a much, much better. So let me know what you guys think about this, man. Continue to support your boy here at Matt Mike Sports, Atlanta Falcons Nation. Check that out, man. Which are on the way to one thousand subscribers all right one thousand subscribers i truly appreciate all you guys for your continued support but hit us up all right hit us up tonight heavy hitters live okay live at nine uh eight o'clock um eastern time all right so you leave your questions um definitely need you guys questions because like like i said man the more questions um the more that we can entertain you guys man and you know what i'm saying like um it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be on. All right. So let me know what you guys think about this. Continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports, man. Again, one more again, one more again. There will be a card at the top. All right. Cards in the top. You can check out um, Atlanta Falcons Nation. Um, 
their content as well as my film breakdown. So, um, again, man, thank you for the support. But your boy, man, Mike is out. Man, peace.